Good morning, Liberty North, and welcome back to KNET. Today is March 26, 2015, and we've got a packed show for you guys today. That's right, Lindsay. We've got results from the first annual Mr. North competition for you guys today, as well as this week's edition of Pop Culture Thursday. Jamie, it was pretty chilly walking into school this morning. Will it be warming up at all later today? Well, Alberta, it was chilly with 33 degrees this morning, but the temperatures should warm up to 55 later on. I will have your full weekend update for you later in the show. Gage, what will you have for us? Well, Jamie, I've got the latest from our varsity baseball team coming up later in the show, as well as some conference honors from our girls' basketball team. Let's get this show started. Your net news starts now. Let's start off with your announcements. Yesterday, the Liberty North Scholar Bowl team won the Greater Casey Suburban Conference White Division Tournament, going undefeated in all five rounds of play. The team comprised of Hillary Albert, Alexandria Havner, Tim Haynes, Madison Stowally, and Elliot Yoakum. Having earned three individual toss-up questions, Tim Haynes was ranked as the second best individual player on the all-conference team, while Elliot Yoakum was ranked eighth, having scored 12 individual toss-ups. The first annual Mr. North competition went off without a hitch last night, and while all of the boys were incredibly entertaining and did a great job, only one could win the title. Andrew Madison, Madison represented the art department well last night, won over the judges, and claimed the crown. Congrats to everyone that had a hand in the competition. We'll have a recap of all the action from last night in tomorrow's show. Ten teams have signed up, including a teacher team, to battle for bragging rights tonight in the second annual dodgeball tournament. Admission in the game tonight is $2 with attorneys starting at 7 o'clock in the field house. Be there tonight and be sure to watch the final four play tomorrow during Eagle Hour in the field house. Admission tomorrow is $1. Seniors, if you have decided where you're going to college or your future plans, please stop by the Counseling Center and write it out on an eagle to go up on the SOAR Eagles wall. Seniors, the state deadline for the FAFSA is April 1st by midnight. Please be sure to get in your FAFSA in as soon as possible so that your school can determine your financial aid package. That is all we have for your announcements today. Gage, what do you have for us? Thank you, Lindsay. To start off our sports, congratulations to our very own Caleb Knudsen for earning All-District and also Second Team All-Conference honors, as well as to B.B. Gist for earning All-Conference HM. Good job, girls. And other sports news, your Liberty North men's baseball team won last night by a score of 7-0 against Park Hill. Keep up the good work, boys. Their record now improves to 3-1 on the season. The men's baseball team plays tonight at 3 against Liberty, so make sure to come out and support the boys as they take on the Blue Jays. In other sports news, good luck to the women's soccer team as their invitational tournament continues. That is all I have for your sports today. Tune in tomorrow for your golf scores and updates on the baseball game tonight. Jamie, what's the weather looking like? Well, Gage, today will be sunny with a high of 55, but tonight there is a 50% chance for more precipitation with a low of 34. Tomorrow we have a high of 51 and a low around 36. Saturday will be cloudy in the morning, but clouds will clear out in the afternoon with a high of 53 for your first day of spring break. Sunday we will have a high around 67 and a low of 39 with scattered showers throughout the day. That's all I have for your weather today. Alina, what do you have for us on Pop Culture Thursday? Good morning, Liberty North. And to start off again with the Warped Tour update, seven new bands have been announced as of yesterday, including the A-plus dropouts, Atelier, August Burns Red, Drama Club, Fust False Puppet, Memphis Mayfire, and We Came as Romans. Once again, for more information on Warp Tour, you can go to www.warptour.com. It takes place on Thursday, July 30th at Cricket Wireless Amphitheater in Bonner Springs, Kansas. Next, girls all over the world were devastated after hearing about Zayn Malik leaving the One Direction yesterday. The former band member said, I want to be a normal 22-year-old. He wishes the band the best of luck, and the group has decided to continue as a four-member band and looks forward to concerts and releasing their fifth album soon. Shrug Knight collapsed in court after prosecutors asked to be held on $25 million bail as he faces charges for murder, attempted murder, and a hit and run. His attorney, Matthew Fletcher, said Knight hit his head when he fell and was unconscious when he was wheeled out on a gurney and taken to a jail hospital ward. He also said that Knight, who is diabetic and has a blood clot, 
has been held in solitary confinement and hasn't received proper access to his medication. This is actually the fourth time that Knight has been taken by ambulance from a courthouse since he was charged with killing Terry Carter in early February. That's all I have for your Pop Culture Thursday. Guys, let's wrap up the show. Thanks, Selena. That's all we have for your today's edition of KNET. Hope to see you guys down at Liberty for the baseball game tonight. And don't forget your umbrella for the game. There is still a chance for the rain. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow, but until then, we'll catch, catch you on, on the north, north side. side. Broken so bad.